It was originally called the Cannonball Baker Sea to Shining Sea Memorial Trophy Dash. The idea was to gather a collection of interesting cars and people, then drive from the East Coast to the West Coast as quickly as possible. This morphed into the U.S. Express Underground New York to L.A. race. Today, people call any attempt at a fast drive from coast to coast by the name Cannonball Run. In a gas-powered car, it's a dangerous and highly illegal undertaking. The current record, set just recently, is an impossible 27 hours and 25 minutes. Our goal here isn't to come anywhere close to that. We just want to finish, and we want to do so in a vehicle that doesn't need gasoline. Right now, Tesla has a strong hold on America's charging network. But you can only use that network if you're in a Tesla. Our goal is to drive a non-Tesla vehicle from coast to coast in one shot. So we need to find the right car and the right network. Our search lands us on the Audi e-tron. Certainly not because of the EPA estimated range of 204 miles. No, it's because the e-tron delivers 150 kilowatt charging speeds and it can hit those speeds on the growing Electrify America charging network. We map a route, make plans, and then all of that immediately gets put to the test because New York City enters its first serious cold snap of the season. With temperatures hovering below 40 degrees, we set off. Our first stop is not Carlisle, Pennsylvania, like we'd hoped. Bridgewater, New Jersey will have to do so we can combat our reduced range due to the frigid temps. Much like people, electric cars aren't big fans of colder temperatures. Inside the battery pack is an electrolyte fluid, and when it's cold outside, that fluid becomes sluggish. This is not good for long distance driving. You're going to get less range. There's another issue that's becoming apparent when we have our very first charging session of the trip. The e-tron and the charging station are not talking. A quick call to Electrify America's 24-hour customer service line gives us a helpful tip. Give the handle a bit of upward pressure while the system is initializing, and it should be fine. And it was. Now we're rolling. Because we can't use the Tesla network, our route takes us farther south than we'd like. This means we have to go the long way through Texas, all the way down to El Paso. But the charging network across the state is robust and readily available. We even juiced up in Midland, which is hardcore oil country. The entire way, the car was comfortable, our charging speeds were strong with only a few minor exceptions, and the journey went well. A normal electric vehicle driver wouldn't make the trip in the same manner. You'd stop at hotels, see the sights, and take your time. Our goal was simply to prove that you could do this trip in one shot on the existing DC fast charging infrastructure. And it's an infrastructure that's growing on a near constant basis. If we try this trip again in the spring, our route could be more direct and faster. Did we break any Cannonball Run records along the way? No. The current fastest trip in an electric vehicle is 45 hours and 16 minutes. That was achieved in a Tesla Model 3, which was slightly modified for better aerodynamics. Our Audi e-tron was essentially stock. We did swap the larger up-trim wheels for base 19-inch units and also pumped the tire pressure up to 50 PSI. Other than that, we loaded the thing up with our luggage, two full-size spares, and three now very tired human beings. I'm so tired. Three humans that are, perhaps, eager to give this another go when the weather is a bit warmer. 